I'm up here on the roof and we're going to demonstrate how to install a roof flashing for a chimney pipe. Got a screw here that I've put from the inside and that is the center of my chimney pipe. And then all I'm going to do here is center my flashing around that screw. It's pretty close. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, I'm just going to take my Sharpie here and put a nice little mark all the way around. Get a good mark so I know where I'm cutting. Get the flashing out of the way. I don't know if you can see the mark, but I can see it. So the next step, my favorite part, going to bust a hole in the roof. All right, that gives me my, my hole, my starter hole, and now I'm going to just cut the mark, and I'm gonna cut it about a quarter inch bigger so my flashing will fit underneath the roof. So if you notice, we got a truss on this side here, and obviously you can't cut a truss. So I just went straight right there. I'm gonna trim it all the way close. And you wanna just make sure you've got clearances on your pipe. In this case, the clearance is two inches. So that's one step. The next part, you can see about halfway up your hole is where you want to lift the roof and just get the nails out. You want to get all these nails out up above here so your flashing will fit and it'll just slide under there nice and easy. More nails. I think that's it. Let's just do a little test fit. Nails over here.
So I'll trim this with a knife. But that's pretty much it right there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect the rest of the pipe up to the flashing. We'll put some uh, roof tar on it and finish it up. But I'll show you, uh, I'll show you that step in a minute. All right, we got some roof tar. We're gonna put it on the flashing. We'll just go around the entire flashing. Get a little more up toward the top. That's where it's going under the roof. All right, you can see I've got the pipe almost all the way up to the roof. And then what we're gonna do, just slide this flashing underneath and then snap this pipe on and uh, cap it off, storm collar, finish it up and it'll be ready to burn. under there. I'll trim this, nail it all down. We're gonna seal this uh, pipe up too with a collar. So we'll show you that in a minute. All right, all right when you're all done, uh, the flashing should look something like that with half of it underneath the roof and the other half laying down on top on the downside so that's pretty much it uh, the last thing I want to do here I actually need to get underneath these tiles with some more roof tar and then uh, this is called a storm collar this will go around the pipe and it'll cover that gap that you've got between your pipe and the top of the cone on your flashing. So do that, silicone that up, tar these roof tiles down really good so they'll all be sticking. Other than that, uh, just nail it down and you're in business. Um, one last thing on this chimney, uh, the code for the chimney height is two feet higher on the height than anything 10 feet away, which the peak of the roof is probably about 12, 15 feet away. So you would just square it off and measure it 10 feet away from the roof, which we're right there. So that's it. Subscribe, leave a comment, any questions, I'll Get back to you right away. Thanks for watching. All right, a couple more things. I put some strap on the pipe. If you're in a high wind area, you probably want to uh, strap the pipe down. Make sure it's nice and level. Um, and real important, around this storm collar, I put some high temp silicone and that usually comes in red. It's available in black as well, but I think the red stuff's better. And the flashing, right where the cone meets the base, I like to put an extra layer of tar all the way around because sometimes those flashings aren't made the best. So that, and their stupid dish is right there. I hope their TV doesn't work, but at least they'll have a nice fireplace to look at. There it is capped, strapped, and ready to burn. Thanks for watching.